I figured, since I've already done one response to you, um, okay, it's, I'm, I thought it wasn't recording. I'm a, um, there's three more things, like, my personal favorite rock operas, well, one's not really an opera, but yeah, whatever, um, you should, yeah, let's, I got this for a dollar down at some beach. Some dude had a record store and he was selling a bunch of records outside. And a dollar for this. I mean, it has the damn camera is so crap. The lyrics right here, you know, pictures from I guess the video thing they did. I can't remember what it was called. I found it on YouTube at one point actually. <clears throat> They did a little, like, mini-movie thing with it. Apparently they did a stage show, too. That was pretty awesome. Uh, well, I'm thinking about it. Well, you know what? I got nine more minutes. But, yeah, I mean, this is the one I have. I don't know... <clears throat> I don't know how you feel about contemporary new music, but the, uh... The, the Black Parade by Mike and McRomance is another rock opera type deal. That is, um, <clears throat> I mean, I, I don't know if you knew that. I don't know if you were even a fan. If not, hey, whatever, you know. I mean, I, I get down with Bonza, Bonzas, yeah, Boston, Kansas, and the Eagles, and, you know, the Who. I mean, a lot of the stuff you mentioned in the video, I, I like, too. You know, I, I like all kinds of music, every kind of music. But there's two things while I'm thinking about it. I need to... Crap. This might actually surprise you is why I'm going to show you this. Ha, there it is. Okay, alright. I wish they would make a video of this. The Wall 2000. Some, uh, they're called Out of Phase, actually did the entire thing did a cover a cover album of the whole thing I also have another cover album of it by um it has actually people from Sticks, Kansas, Boston all the old school rock people and they all you know instruments singing whatever each they did the whole thing and it was awesome also the Black Parade album I showed was the live one it's the only one I have the other ones in my car I don't feel like going outside it's cold you're near me, you should know. <laughs> and last but not least, my favorite band of all time <clears throat> is Coheed and Gambria. The reason I'm mentioning this is because it's like an opera type thing. They have a whole massive sci-fi space epic story thing going on with it that is... Sorry, I have a DVD somewhere. Oh, there it is. Whatever. Anyway, but yeah, it's it's this whole epic story about Coheed and Cambria. They're two characters, and, and Claudio is another character, and there's Nuo Eakin and Apollo the dog, and the prize fighter Inferno, which is named Jesse, which is an uncle of um, Claudio and his sister's... Um, his sister... Ju... Jean out remember it's been so mayo is an evil cybernetic cyborg um dude it's like kill 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 you know everyone <laughs> i wish they would do an opera thing like a movie with it you know with all i mean there's four albums second stage turbine blade and keeping secrets of silent earth three go to Paul and burning star four Volume 1, From Fear Through the Eyes of Madness, and Good Apollo and Burning Star 4, Volume 2, No World for Tomorrow. The cool thing is about Coheed is the, um, the vocals and the intricateness, I guess, of the whole thing. The, um, their instruments and the fact they use, keep using a recurring